Hello, this is TurboDog702 for the Castlevania Symphony of the Night Any% Percent tutorial. In this section of the tutorial, we will be tackling the fight with Shaft and the True Lord Dracula fight. While most of the bosses after Minotaur Werewolf, I kind of only briefly glanced over, just showing you, just you basically throw stars at them. These ones are a tiny bit more in-depth, so I'm going to spend a little bit more time on these ones, so this video might be a tiny bit long. But I think it's good to go over it so that people understand what they're in for. So let's go ahead and jump right in. This is the end of the run here, so, you know, you guys should be super excited at this point. There's a save point here. If this is like your first time doing the run and you have a lot of trouble with the Dracula fight, you might want to save here. Uh, so what you want to do is once you get in the room after doing the relic skip, you want to make sure that you equipped um, your second buffalo star. If you're really low on mana, you could always equip your mana prism and use it once, because you are going to use some mana in the rooms coming up. At this point, once you have two buffalo stars on, uh, you can, you know, throw two different types. Uh, something to note about two buffalo stars, it's very common for people to change the way they hold the controller when they have two buttons that they need to press. Uh, so just kind of play around with ways that you can use both of your buffalo stars effectively while jumping. Uh, I have my own methods. Um, you know, I'm sure other people have theirs. So just play around, see what works out. Having two buffalo stars equipped, though, is really the way to go. Uh, if you find that you're dying a lot on these fights, uh, you could have an elixir and just like swap that out when you need to heal uh, if you're new to the run. So keep that in mind. But this is kind of the goal that you should go to. So we want to get out of that room. We're going to jump up and press up. And that's going to make this elevator trigger and take us upward. Once we get out of here, we're going to Buffalo Star Dash, jump, and turn into a bat, fly straight up. It doesn't matter if you go left or right on this place, but, you know, I just go left. So we're going to Wing Smash, and while we're Wing Smashing, we're going to directionally influence up so that we hug this terrain. We're going to Mist Bat at this area and fly straight up. And then we are going to Wing Smash and drop inside of that hole. I'm actually going to make a save state here so that I can keep going through this shaft fight. Okay, so we fall in. We're going to skip the cutscene with shaft. Okay, shaft has a couple of abilities. The majority of what he's going to do is he's just going to fly around and uh, use his balls to do different attacks. Uh, for this section, I'm actually going to equip a elixir and just kind of let him do his thing so you can see some of the attacks he does. This shouldn't happen at all, but if an emergency happens, you should probably know the things he can do. So he can shoot balls that make columns of fire. Sometimes they go on the vertical walls instead and shoot flame. He can do bouncing balls. Uh, he has the electrical shock balls. Okay. The last thing that you need to know really about this fight is that the green sphere surrounding him can block shurikens, or block attacks in general. So you should keep that in mind. We aren't going to let him do any of this if everything goes according to plan. Okay, so the room itself is a square. So what we're going to do is we're going to backdash all the way into the far lower left corner. At that point, we are going to be jumping straight up and throwing buffalo stars at, at a at Shaft. Shaft will fly directly towards you at the beginning of the fight. Do not be scared. As long as you backdashed entirely into the corner and didn't move, he won't be able to hit you. So skip the thing. We're going to backdash into the corner. And then we're going to throw stars. See? And that was kind of even a slower fight. So we're going to do that again. I mean, even when I do it slowly, 
he still can't find a way to do it. As you get better and better, you can actually do that. So you would do a full jump, a short jump, and then maybe one more jump. And you'll be able to kill him. This is the true Dracula fight. Okay, I'm going to make another state save here. Okay, right at the beginning of this fight, you're going to jump up, turn into a bat, and fly to the ceiling. Once Dracula goes off screen, like that, you're going to untransform and start mashing stars. And what that'll cause is so that when Dracula comes on screen, you'll hit him on the way down. After that, do a jump. After that, you're going to do a jump and throw stars at him again. So that's basically free damage before his actual pattern starts. So real quick again, in real time. Jump up, bat. Stars, jump, stars, and get ready for the fight. Okay, Dracula actually has a very specific pattern that he does inside of this fight. Uh, basically what he'll do is he's going to try to analyze if you're on the left or right side of his body based on his center point. Uh, after a few seconds, he's going to swing with the arm that you're most like on the side of. See? And it does a decent amount of damage, as you can see there. I just wanted to show that off. I'm actually going to equip an elixir as well, so I can show off more of this. He'll do this four times. After the fourth time, he's going to make a sphere that doesn't hurt you until he claps his hands together, which is about to happen. Uh, the way you can dodge this is just by jumping and turning into a bat. His next ability is he's going to go into the background and he's going to shoot a laser. You can dodge this by basically just shield dashing out of the way. Okay. The next thing he's going to do is he's going to do what's known as his triangle attack, which he attacks with his heads. Then there's going to be a triangle that he makes in between them, and that triangle is going to shoot energy. You can actually just turn into a bat and fly along the top of the screen. After that, he goes back into his sequence with his arm slashes four times, You know, then does the summon, then does the shot, then does the triangle attack again. Okay, what we want to do is we basically want to kill Dracula as he's swinging. So what we're going to do, we're going to fly to the top, jump, do that. And as he's going to swing, we move to the other side. Swings, move to the other side. Swings, move to the other side. Okay? Real simple. It's just a timing mechanism, okay? Uh, you'll start to notice certain visual cues, like he bobs up and down, things of that nature, that'll give away when he's going to swing. Or you'll just get used to the timing. Something to keep in mind is if you notice there... I'm actually going to lower the volume a little bit so I can explain this. You'll notice that um, Dracula, he has different hitboxes on his left and right arms. His right arm, or the, sorry, his arm on the right side of the screen has a very consistent hitbox. Which, if you see, I'm hitting him every single time. Okay. If I were to attack his left side, a lot of times it'll go, like, right through him. So I'll try to show that off a little bit in this one. See? So it's less consistent. So... One of the best things that you can do as a player is to try to maximize your time hitting uh, the right side of the screen, which is his left arm. All right. And all you do is you're basically just going to turn and uh, throw your stars in order to do that. If you can't do that, it's no big. It's just the fight will take a little longer. You might have to really mash out the summon spell or dodge it, depending on how slow you were. So to break down the fight again, jump up, turn into a bat, mash, jump, mash, get ready to dodge, swing, get ready to dodge, swing, turn to the right, get ready to dodge, swing, and keep mashing it out, you know? 
And he should be close to kill on the third swing or the fourth. That's a good Dracula fight. Go back okay. After you're done with that, I mean, you're done. You beat Castlevania. Timing stops when the screen flashes and he dies. So feel free to enjoy the ending when you do so. Uh, the rendition of, uh, you know, I am the wind or whatever it is that you get. If you're on XBLA, I pity you that you don't have the tree song. But enjoy the ending, guys. Uh, that's the end of the run. It takes a lot of dedication to be able to get the execution down in this game. Keep with it, though. Uh, I haven't been playing this game a long time, and quite frankly, within the first two months of playing it, I was able to get a sub-22 with strats that were much worse than this. And uh, that was on the PSX version. So everything's within your grasp, guys. Okay? Just keep at it, and soon enough, you will be the wind, you will beat Dracula, you will be a speedrunner for this game. But for now, that is the end of this video. This is TurboDog702 for the Castlevania God, Symphony of the Night I'm Any Percent Tutorial. Right. Thank you. I'm sorry. It is my fault you had to fight your own father. Fear not. I had my own reasons for destroying him.